take some of this juice. Taking all the bellies off. What meat is that? This is turkey, smoked turkey, hen chicken, and goat meat. Smoked turkey, African hen chicken, and goat meat. I'm taking the bones out. I might use this water, I don't know yet. You know, the soup I'm cooking don't need too much water. So I'm cooking um I'm cooking juke leaves, but I'm cooking for a funeral. They hire me to cook two foil pan for the funeral, guys. So I'm cooking two big foil pan for the funeral. Okay, so we have our meat in the pot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my palm oil in it. This is my African palm oil. I know you guys didn't sleep yet. Some of you guys are relaxing in your bed, watching Chef Ruby. So you guys come on, let's cook. This is my African palm oil I'm putting in now. This is a jute leaves I'm cooking, jute leaves. I cooked some a couple of days ago. So most of you that follow me, you guys uh, seen this recipe. But the one I cooked the other day, it was for the house. It's just a small amount of it. This one is a big pot. So if you want to cook a big pot for a party, for a function, this is how you do it. Make sure you boil your meat first. Since it's a lot of meat, I boil it in the pressure cooker so the meat can cook very well right so i put a whole bottle of palm oil in here i have another bottle if i need some more i will add some more this is my other bottle i'm going to put in the microwave um this is um this is a different company i couldn't find the other palm oil that i like so this is the one i find this is african palm oil they call this uh, Zomi, Zomi palm oil. Um, this is two liter, 100% pure and natural palm oil. I hope it's good. This is my first time trying this culture. So I'm putting it, I'm putting it in the microwave so it can light, so it can be, so it can defrost. So I'm going to take some of this Maggi, this is African Maggi, I'm putting two, two hands, like two full hands, 
this another maggie this they call it um fablo or pillow or whatever they call it you guys know this stuff especially my african people know this so i'm gonna put some salt don't put too much salt you don't want it to be salty then now i'm gonna come in with my all-purpose seasonings don't ever forget your fruity seasoning i wonder if if not it's red olive oil no, that's not ol red olive. I never seen red olive oil. Did they have red olive oil? I've never seen that with my eyes. So any anytime you cook, don't forget chef ruby seasoning. You have to have chef ruby seasoning. This is the all purpose. So we're gonna put this right here. These seasonings you have to have it in most of your cooking. I might use this whole bottle. I don't know yet. So I'll put it to this side. Let me come in with a spoon. Oh, yeah. I just splashed some palm oil on my clothes. That's why it's good to wear apron. I don't know me why I'm not used to apron. So you're gonna mix. You're gonna mix your meat. Yeah. Who's that? Hello. I hope this meat is not too soft. I think I boil it too much. So let's start the cooking now. So the meat is boiling. Now I'm going to blend my onions. I just wasted palm oil on my dress, on my beautiful dress. You all see? The palm oil, when I mix it, just splash on me right here. That's why I have oil apron. But I'm the kind of chef that refuses to wear apron all the time. Now I'm messing up my beautiful dresses. And this palm oil, they are very hard to come out. Very hard to come out. I don't know if this is going to come out. I don't know if this one going to come out. These are my aprons. You go to my website, you can order this apron. You can order this apron. So, we're going to do the onions. Let me peel. Nazma, come get me some habanero peppers in the fridge, please. Let me blend this one time. Let me move you guys there so you can see me. Get me a bunch of habanero peppers, please. So I'm peeling the onions. The soup is boiling. I don't want, I'm not gonna take too long on this soup because the most important thing, the meat is boiled already. Okay? So we're not gonna take too long on this. a bunch of it because this is a lot of soup african people like their soup to be spicy you know so i'm gonna make Hello, it everybody. hey what's up how are you no. long time no see no. you going by yourself huh uh some lady lady yeah oh ginger she moved to latonia no some lady i don't know if she is it's a lady huh you gonna go pick her up in Latonia? No, I just picked her up. She's with you right now? Yeah, she's in the car. Oh. Okay. And I might look at her house and dad. How many hours? It's like three six hours. Six hours, wow. Be careful now. Okay. When you're tired, you pull over. Okay. Yeah. Tired, yeah, you pull over. <laughs> so yeah right here i'm peeling my onions this is the onions i'm gonna put in the soup i'm gonna blend it so you'll see i have like five onions so let me clean up if i don't clean up i can't continue to cook i have to clean up first sorry guys my problem is the comments i cannot be cutting up cooking and read comments but you guys can comment comments give me reaction on my videos so even if i don't respond please comment when i'm done i'm gonna go read all your beautiful comments and i can respond to most of them please so let me go rinse these onions i'm coming right back Okay. 
let's come mix here. You don't want this soup to burn. Okay? So you're gonna come and mix. I'm gonna put a little water here because it's like there's only palm oil in there. So I'm putting a little water in here. I'm taking the water from the from the pot. That's the uh, meat stock. So I put a little bit in it. So you're gonna let it boil. Now let's blend the onions. Let me leave, let me fix this thing. This thing is so hard to adjust. It's so hard to adjust. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay. You live in? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm here. You live in? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, you two drive safe, okay? <laughs> you drive safe. Uh, 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 James. He's there? He's just leaving now. He's going to go join Uncle Lassan at the festival. He's driving himself? Yeah. Yeah, so I put my habanero peppers. In the blend. You're going all the way to uh, Riverdale? Yeah. No. Come, come no, not this night, Rashida. Oh, I have to. I don't have time tomorrow. What you have to pick up? Some hair. I can pick it up tomorrow. I'm going that area. No, I have to. I have a hair coming tomorrow, so I need to pick it up today. <laughs> okay, oh. You just I get up, you're tired. Wait, why can't you Uber it? Uh, I'm not doing that. That's the same amount of gas money you're going to use to go there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's, it might be less. Yeah, check lift. Maybe lift can like bring what? it to you. Oh, this is that right? Oh, you make sense. Yeah, this night he just come from work. I don't think it's a good idea. So, we have the habanero peppers and onions here to blend. in West African cuisine. Okay, honey, love you. Be careful. Shut um as that of South Southern Nigeria. Yeah? That's a whole book. Oh, I cannot read that. Oh no. That's too mm -mm. that's a whole book right there. I can't read it. I thought it was something short. When I open it that's a that's a whole book. No. My people can read that for you guys. This is um, shrimp paste. It's equivalent to sesame seed, fermented sesame seed. If you don't have the fermented sesame seed, you can use this shrimp paste. They call it shrimp paste. I don't know if you can see. It gives your food a good flavor. Any Asian store you go look for this if you're an African. It's very good. So you're gonna break it down in this soup. Time, but it didn't work for me. Why is not blending now? I swear, I lose money. This is almost two hundred dollars. I don't know why I have to go through all this.
takes you long to blend something. The last time I double those stuff, they didn't work. spend two hundred dollars on blender then it, 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 it's acting like this it's not even blending the stuff that's about flipping flipping look at this I don't know how to use it. Maybe. So we're gonna take these onions and have habanero peppers. We're gonna come here and put all in this soup. Okay. Make sure you take everything out. Master Jesus can pray. Master Judas can pray if he don't pray. So we have that in there. Then you're gonna come in and mix. This is African soap. This is a big pot of African soap. We call it jute leaves. It's just like you're cooking a cassava leaves, cream cream, potato leaves. That's how you start it. Okay? So the onions is in there. The, um, the fermented seeds, which is the shrimp paste, is in there. I have some okra here I'm going to blend. This is chopped okra. Um, put some boiled eggs and... What? Josephine, you said put some boiled eggs and small potatoes around pot eh? around potatoes in that place. Where? Hey boy, Josephine, leave me this night. I want to sleep. You're telling me to put some boiled eggs and boiled potatoes or small potato, whatever potatoes you want me to put in my food. Hell no. This is Africana food. This is Africana food. This is no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You just want me. You don't. You just want to get me into trouble. You just want to get me into trouble. The moment I start talking, I'm gonna get into trouble. So let me just keep quiet and keep cooking. <laughs> is that pot? I am. I am saying which pot? You want me to put eggs in this pot and put small potato? Eh, hey, Josephine, stop. Josephine, this is Africana food. Why don't you just watch the recipe and see how it goes? Eh? Hey? Let me blend my okra. Please, sorry for the noise. That will be an... That will be abomination. <laughs> see ya, see ya, stop now. See, I come up here, you copy though. Ah, come up here, you copy. You go. <laughs> see, I said that's <laughs> ah, This lady wants all Australian people to come for her this night. 
Look at Fatou. Fatou said, Sierra Leone people don't cook like that. <laughs> West African didn't eat like that. Hey, you, they're coming for you this night. I don't have to say nothing. You telling me to put boiled eggs in my pots. Your, Af Af your African ancestors, are, and they are coming for you. <laughs> You're going to tell me which African ancestor that teach you how to cook like this. Huh? You're trying to get Ruby fired. Eh, let me cook, ba. See ya. Me, I don't have time for palava this night. I don't want to make palava this night. Let me just cook. blended hey, I want this okra to blend more so let me get a spoon you need to squeeze them under so all this can blend because you're doing cream cream so you have to make sure everything blend so these big big ones push them inside push them inside and you cover the, the blender one more time and blend it again. <laughs> you guys are funny, for real. <laughs> I wish I have somebody who can read this comment for me. I swear to God. guys are so funny these ones that have stubborn i have to trash them i'm not putting them in my soup because when you put that in your soup you don't want to see it i need some jerk seasoning please mama go to the website and order go to the website and order you put your okra here i don't want this thing to cut my finger uh -huh. so you put your okra here and now we're going to blend our cream cream. We're going to blend our jute leaf. Okay? The okra is in there. I'm going to wipe. Wipe the pots. Are you guys see? I am an African American descendant of Africa. Africa. Of African. Not Akata. <laughs> I am in Akata as you. Say... <laughs> But and good African, eh? Who eats with my, who eats with my fingers and lick them too with? <laughs> Josephine, Josephine, I need to find out who you are. That picture you have on your profile, I need to find out who you are for real. You, 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 you are, you are something else. I don't know where you come from, but I need to check you out. Uh -huh, I'm going to check your profile. Let me know where you come from. I don't think if you, you are real, Akata. You know Akata. <laughs> ah, this is funny, man. I love this. I love this. This is so funny. So you're going to take all your palm oil, bring it in the middle. You mix it. My soup is coming along. Those of you that... 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 Especially you Africans, when people call you and say, can you cook for my party? Then you go cook water, water soup. Because you don't know how to cook big pot of, you don't know how to cook big pot of soup to take it. Some people only know how to cook small pots. When they cook small pots, the food tastes good. But the moment they ask them to cook a big pot like this, they're going to take water water soup because they don't know how to cook big pot so you better watch me how i'm cooking this big pot okay all right so let's come back here this blender gonna work tonight give me this jute leaf now so this is the jute leaf nasma already opened some this is jute leaves i show you the other day jute leaves is cream cream palava sauce mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Give me, let me do it fast. Pour that one here, the one you already opened. So last one already opened some, so we're gonna open the jute leaves. Wait, so we to put it mm -hmm. Be careful. Don't put it one side. Oh. Okay. Right. It's okay. Take that one out and put it here. You can put on some gloss. Okay, thank you. I don't want to waste. This thing is so expensive. The jute leaf? Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get as much as I can out of the pack. Mm -hmm. So, this is the jute leaves. Jute leaves. African people call it crane crane. Um, I'm a kata, but I follow my mom to eat with hands. Thank you. Thank you. All my akatas, put your hands in the air. My akatas are beautiful. My akatas are smart. My akatas, they cook African food. So they are akatas African. Oh my gosh. I love all my akatas. Trust me. Trust me. I love my akatas. All the real akatas. So we blend. I'm, I'm laughing at Miss Lisa. <laughs> okay, crane crane blended. Crane crane blended. Some of them refuse to blend. Crane crane blended. Let me take you guys to the pots. Okay, so the crane crane gonna come here. Crane crane gonna come here. Hey. Okay. This one refused to blend up. You go back in there. Okay, so let's come blend the rest. <sighs> it's hard work. Oh. That's why I don't like to cook for people for free. Because this is like free cooking. They pay for the food, oh, but they don't pay me to cook it. They pay me for the food. They pay me to buy the food, but I didn't charge them to cook it. You know, because it's a funeral. So that's that's my contribution to them. I already give my my cash my cash contribution. So my other contribution now is to cook for them this food, okay? So yeah, the crane crane is in there. I added okra in it because I want it to be a lot because they need um they need two full foil pan. Hopefully I can get maybe three foil pan out of this pot, hopefully. I'm not going to make it too full in the foil pan. So I'm going to try my best to get at least three foil pans in this. Yeah. So, you know, when it's a funeral, especially it's in the community, I don't have to charge them to, for me to cook for them. I just told them to buy the stuff, you know, and they give me the money to buy the stuff. That's it. You know, because all of us going to go one day. All of us going to go one day. So I expect the same if may the Lord forgive anything like that happened to me. I expect the community to stand up for me too and do the same to me. Although this our Sierra Leone community, they are so partial. They only do for people that have known, they, they've known for, for 20, 30 years or whatever, or people that are close to them. Even if you join them, if they don't know you that much, they don't even, when something happens to you, they don't even take care of you. That's the problem with them. You know, they do it by knowing who they know or who they love the most. That's why I'm not a fan of, of them, most of them. I'm just being honest here. Three times I've had funerals, they never show up because, oh, your, your people die in Africa. So we can't do nothing. It don't matter where the person die. As long as you are in some kind of community, if you have a, if you have sadness, they're supposed to come celebrate with you. They're supposed to come patronize you. It don't have to be, it, the person don't have to be dead from here or the person don't have to be sick from here. And especially too, when people sick, when people sick in the community, Nobody stand up to do anything. 
Nobody stand up to do anything when they sick or the homeless or the whatever. But as soon as they die, they come, they come, they come raise thirty, forty thousand dollars for the funeral. blending now so I'm gonna throw this in the sink let me turn you guys here I'm gonna talk about this so I have to talk about this I'm not done with it yet. so we're gonna put the last cream cream here that's the last one put in the sink I want to clean up I want to clean up when I'm done I don't want to leave a, a dirty kitchen when I'm done cooking I'm going to clean up. I'm going to sanitize. So let me just wipe for now. So do you guys see this um, drip leaves in here? They all share their life this night. Everybody in their room. Everybody is laying down resting right now. This is the best time to help. This is the best time to watch the live. This is the best time to watch the live so you can learn something. So share this live with your friends. Share this life with your loved ones. Let them watch me this night. Chef Ruby is cooking crane crane. They call this um, jute leaves. They call it jute leaves. So I'm going to add some more palm oil. This is a lot of soup. It needs a lot of palm oil. So I'm going to add some more. And this has to open this now. Okay. So we're going to add some. Yeah, hello? Huh? How are you? Fine. Who are you? I'm not fine. I'm going to tell you. I want to fuck tonight, baby. I don't know you. Why are you calling me on a block Let number? You. Let me call you. No. If you call me on FaceTime, I'm going to call your mama. No. What's up? No, what's up? No. Don't call me. You... No, don't call me. You crazy. Okay, I'll, 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 it's those okay. useless people. <laughs> those are those stupid people. They don't track it on location. Okay. Let, let him track my location. I have an I have a cutlass for him here. If I use that cutlass on his head, he's not gonna he's not gonna know how he's gonna leave this house. Useless people. Say so let me call you. Call me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's those people. I know most of you guys received this call from those Bangladesh-looking people. I'm telling you. Eh, Allah, where these people live? They don't have a life. They don't have no life just to disturb people. So this is a big, big pot of cream cream. Right here. We call it um, jute leaves. Uh, cream cream, palava sauce. Some people call it palava sauce. You know? So now we're going to put our fish. This is my smoke fish. <laughs> Mimi is laughing. Mimi, I swear I'm tired of these people. Sometimes when they call on FaceTime, I'll just give... Sometimes when they call, just give a man the phone. When they, as soon as they see a man, they hang up. Boop, they don't say nothing. They want to see a beautiful face. So they can... They can masturbate. <laughs> They're going to look at you and masturbate. I know who, who that man is. Eh? You know him? <laughs> Me, I don't know. <laughs> Me, I don't know him. Those are the people that call and harass people for no reason. I don't know where they've been getting people numbers from, for real. Where they getting your number? I think it's from WhatsApp. Come on, let me... Okay, next time, give me, let me pick up. I'm going to speak real. So rude, man. So miserable. They really have enough time to call people. So I'm putting my smoke fish in this um, cream cream. Putting my smoke fish here. 
right here this is kuta fish we have kuta fish i have um uh, um what's the name of this other fish catfish kuta fish and catfish make sure you take your bones off take your bones off why this fishy hado i've already soaked it for more than an hour it's still tough it's gonna soft why it's gonna soft inside the um the soup that's why you soak your fish because sometimes they dry the fish too too dry in africa so when they bring them over here they so dry you soak them in hot water before you cook them then you have to take the skin out i don't like to cook the skin this is my kuta fish oh that one that's a big piece whoever gonna get that piece gonna enjoy themselves that's a big piece i'm gonna leave it like that so cut up your kuta fish and put it in your soup I, I don't know how you can see right here you hold that phone you cannot read comments for me that's ridiculous for real it's just ridiculous very ridiculous mm. it's her boyfriend hiding it's busted hey josephine you you crazy josephine don't make me block you on this page yo maybe that's not your real name but i'm calling you josephine that's what i see right there on your page your page look like a fake page so if you continue like that i'm gonna block you please have some respect you don't have respect i'm gonna block you for real respect yourself because i don't disrespect you i'm having fun now you want to disrespect me okay so chill let's enjoy the recipe so i'm putting all this fish in here because it's a lot of soup the fish is going to change the flavor of this soup I always put smoked fish in your soup if you eat smoked fish if you don't eat smoked fish don't worry about it just cook your soup just like that Mm -hmm. Josephine said she mm -hmm. will be you that man. He is your boyfriend and you got busted and Yeah, I saw that. That's why I said she no, needs to this is the new comment. But, mm -hmm. The new comment said, Chef, you know that man, he's okay, Josephine, you about to be blocked, okay? I got it. Okay. You about to be blocked, Josephine. Okay? You about to be blocked, bro. Maybe your bro. I don't think you are she. You are bro. And Sandra Ross too. Sandra Ross say what? She's on the whole thing with her too. Right? Okay, just block them. Because we don't have time for nonsense. Most of you out there in this world, you all receive those nonsense calls from these useless people. Then you're going to open your dirty mouth telling me I know the person. Me, me, Harry said, why would a boyfriend act like a small boy? I know, right? Why would my boyfriend even call me on a strange voice? Trust me. Hey, mm -hmm. you you eager to know my boyfriend. You will know my boyfriend soon. Don't worry. When you see my boyfriend, you're going to shit on yourself. <laughs> you're going to go poo poo. You're going to say, hey, hey, God, my stomach is running. My stomach is running. Oh, I can't stand this. I cannot stand this. I cannot stand that. You know? Okay. My boyfriend speaks better English than this one called me today. Those are those fake Bangladesh Indian looking people. Corsa, get him, chef. Huh? Corsa, get him, chef. It's not, it's not him. That's a her. Josephine, oh. Corey is hmm? the man. What Corey said? Get him, chef. Get who? The person that called me? No, my girlfriend. Oh, let me get Josephine and Sandra. Okay, I get them. Read the comment. Let me get them now. <laughs> Read the comments. Let me get them now, 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 now. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? The bone. The bone stick on me. Oh my God. This soup going to be so delicious with all this fish. Anybody that chopped this soup tomorrow, they're going to know that Chef Ruby hands are in this soup. They're going to know who cooked this soup. Or they're going to be asking, would I bring this soup? Would I bring this soup? Would I cook this cream cream? Would I cook this cream cream? Would I cook this cream cream? 
They say, eh, hey, now Chef Rubio. Now Chef Rubio. Someone asked, what um, kind of pot are you cooking? What kind of what? What, are, what kind of pot are you cooking? Maybe? This pot? This is African pot. It's big African pot. Let me wash my hand. So my fish is in. Now we're going to come and mix this soup. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this cream cream. Hey, which restaurant are you going to go and get any soup like this? Original, homemade, cooked from scratch. Cook from scratch. Did you block Josephine? Yeah. Okay. We don't have time for drama. They need to go away. Then they want gonna come and throw me off my game. So I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Because when you come for me, I'll go for you. So you're gonna throw me off. Are there bones in the fish? Yes. Bones in the fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. I still need more, more palm oil. You know, crane crane, ask anybody that come from Africa. This soup eats a lot of palm oil. Even from Africa, when my mom used to cook it, she'll, she'll put more palm oil in this soup more than potato leaves or cassava leaves. Because it's slippery, it sucks more palm oil more than all the African soups. You know? Can you eat that with rice? Yeah, you eat it with rice. I love that fish skin in a vegetable, but chef like like to throw it. No, I don't like the skin. I don't like to put the skin in my food. Mm -mm. I don't like the skin at all. I don't like the skin, especially when it comes to smoked fish. I don't like. I don't like the skin. I don't like the skin. Mm -mm. So any smoked fish you cook, you have to take the, the skin off. The skin don't look good in your food. So it's better to take it out. Yeah. Please don't cook the skin in any soup. So I'm just waiting for this soup to cook now and dry. You know, I'm trying to sanitize this place a little bit. The fish, the fish smell, you know. So that's how you cook. When you cook, you clean. Cook, you clean. Clean as you go. So by the time you finish cooking, you don't have to you don't have to clean that much. That's how I cook. I clean and go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Are you guys no. sleeping? Fish skin. Hmm? You say what? I hate fish skin. You hate fish skin? Do you guys see this cream cream? Oh my God. I hope I can get three three full pens of this. Oh my God, look at this cream cream. Cream cream and okra. Mm -mm -mm. You cannot beat that. So like I was saying, huh? Like I was saying, most of you guys, I don't know how to cook big pot of, big pot of soup. This is how you do it. When you cook a big pot of soup, don't put too much water in it. You'll see all the water that came, all the water that came from the from the boiled meat is still in this part. I only put little water in here. It, just imagine if I would have turned all this water here and cook my soup. By now, the, the soup will be up here. A lot of water, you know. So if you want to cook fast and you want to cook a large pot of uh, um, soup, or any dish that you want to cook, avoid too much water. Because if you put too much water, you're gonna take you're gonna take bad food to people. You're gonna take bad food to people because it's gonna the soup gonna be waterish. Everything gonna be water water. Ruth, Ruthie said, "Why wow, I wish I was there." And then mm -hmm. Michelle said, "Where do you get your big pants from?" This pot, um, I think I bought this pot from Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot have some good, good, good pots. Yeah, they have some good, big pots. 
you know so check them out they have a lot of big pots nice ones i have some pots that are bigger than this i don't want to mix this soup too much because i don't want to break all my meat you know because the meat already boiled from the pressure cooker so you'll see all this palm oil sitting up let me taste the seasoning Oh my God, perfect. I'm not adding no more seasoning. I'm not adding any more seasoning. It's almost salty, almost little salty. So I'm not adding any more seasoning. I'm just gonna let it cook now till the water dry. Then I'm gonna dish it out. But please, if you're cooking for a party, you're cooking for any function, for like a big pot, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You'll see this big pot. This is what African people, Sierra Leone people call crane crane. Crane crane. Jute leaves. Crane crane and okra. I put little okra in it. Some The one I cooked the other day, I did only crane crane. I didn't put no okra in it because it was for my house is is for a small pot you know it's for a small pot but because i'm cooking a lot that's why i add a little bit of okra in it so it can be enough for the amount of foil pan they're looking for i'm sure this is going to give me this is going to give me up to three foil pans you all see all this meat. Thank you. You all see all this meat. You can eat this with fufu. You can eat this with fufu. You can eat this with pandered yam. You can eat this with rice. Those are the only three things I can recommend you to eat with it. Fufu, pandered yam. You know, when I mean fufu, African fufu, cassava fufu, pandered yam, eba, um, emala, you know, any swallow. Any swallow, you can eat it with this soup because this soup is slippery. It's slippery, so you can eat it with any swallow or rice, okay? Any swallow or rice, that's what you can eat with this soup. Oyike, how are you? Oyike, do you know crane crane? Jute leaves? Nigerian people have this, but they cook it differently. You all see? This is a big pot. You guys, I don't think, anyway, yeah, you guys seen me cook some big pots. It's not easy to cook a big part of something, food. It's not easy. You have to be a cook for you to know how to cook a big pot of dish and that dish to taste good. A lot of people, like the other lady said just now, oh, she's talking about me because anything more than six people, some people don't know how to do it, you know? So Chef Ruby showing you guys how to cook for large amount of people we cook juice with swallow definitely yeah um i like the white one i like the white one the nigerian people cook the one they always put on the amala with the red sauce oh my god i love that i love that so bad victoria how are you lula bella how are you thank you guys for joining i know everybody a lot of people went to bed already so sorry for keeping you guys this late but this is jute leaves. I'm cooking this for a funeral. Um, a young man passed away in our community. And tomorrow his funeral. So that's how we do it in the community. When they have a funeral, everybody pinch in, everybody help and try to um, give a respectable funeral for that person. You know, you guys saw my aunt's funeral like a couple of months ago. You know, we did the same thing. Yeah. Thank you for 500 star, Miss Caroline. Thank you so much. It's very good for community. It's very good for people to have community and come together and help. But like I was saying, I touch on something that I didn't finish, and I'm going to finish it. And my Sierra Leone people might be watching me. They're going to listen. I'm going to say the truth. When, when somebody is alive, my dad used to tell me that all the time, Feed me when I'm alive. Just send for me. Let me eat. When I die, even if it's hundred dollars, is enough to bury me. It's okay. You don't have to make big, 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 big ceremony for me. No, let me enjoy while I'm alive. 
My dad used to tell me that since I was younger. And I, up to this day, I have it in my head. And that's the thing we as human beings, we have failed to do. When people are alive, they need us. They, they seek the homeless. They, they need us. We're not there. We're not there. We're looking at them. We're laughing at them. We're talking about them. But the moment they die, everybody want to stand up to help. Everybody want to pinch in. I've seen people die here. They raise up to twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars to bury that person in our community. In our community, while those people they were suffering, they were sick, they was maybe on the street or whatever. At that time, nobody stand up to raise no money. My aunt, she was in this community for more than thirty or forty years. More than forty years. She's sick for six years. Nobody do any fundraising for her. Nobody stand up. Couple of weeks before that lady passed away, if you see the money they raised for her, more than $20,000, they raised for her. She didn't eat a dime of that money. She didn't taste a dime. They, maybe they used that money to bury her, maybe not, you know? To me, it's wrong. You know, if you hear that I'm sick, if you hear that I'm in trouble, if you hear that I need help, please help me while I'm alive. At least maybe I will see it and appreciate it. But if I'm gone, hmm, you're just doing it to satisfy yourself. You know, or to say, oh, I did something for his funeral or for my funeral. You know, this guy that we're going to bury tomorrow, like I said the first time, I don't know him personally. I know him in the community. I've seen him since I've been here in, in this Atlanta. But me and him don't never have any personal relationship. You know, but one day he called me and said, I'm hungry. I need food. This is a couple of months ago. And luckily, I have a bunch of food in my car. I went and met him in the parking lot and gave him all the food. So I can be proud. As, I, I can be proud to say that I help him in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because food is very important for a human being. Maybe he needed that food that particular moment and I was there at the right time to give it to him. I didn't say it to nobody because it's, not, it's, not, it's none of nobody's business. You know? So let's try to help our people while they are alive. Maybe this $25,000, $30,000, if he would have get that money when he was alive, maybe that money would have had five to 10 years in his life or maybe i don't know you know money don't money don't save people lives because when it's your time is your time but some sickness some sickness if you don't have the proper the proper uh, um care you can go before your time although according to the quran they said whenever somebody dies is their time you, you cannot question god but some debt, you can look at some debt. You're going you're gonna to know that this is not this person's time. It just happened because of maybe poverty, because of this, because of that. So please, I'm begging everybody in this world that's in a community, that's in some kind of um, society or whatever, let's try to help people while they need us. Let's don't wait till they're gone. Then everybody stand up and want to do something. Everybody want to show off now. I can do this. I can do that. That it, it don't make no sense. Give me flowers while I'm alive, while I can smell them. Yes, um, this musician in Nigeria, he sung one music um, flavor. He said, "Celebrate me while I'm living, not when I die. You go throw party." This, this, this life is for the living. Something like that, you know. This life is for the living. Not when I die, you come throw party for me and say, oh, oh, oh I know this person, oh, oh, let me throw party. No. Throw party for me when I'm alive, on my birthday, on my wedding, on my, on my uh, uh, baby shower, wherever. Throw party for me, celebrate me. But don't celebrate me when I'm, when I'm gone, you know. And trust me, tomorrow... If, if you go to the um, to the repass, you're going to see some people there playing music, dancing, doing all type of stuff. Um, and my sister, they sing Niger song, Welo. <laughs> I didn't try my sister. I love Flavor. Flavor is my guy. I love him, you know. So, yeah, let's celebrate our people while they're alive, not when they're gone. 
you know let's try to help people when they are sick when they need us when they are on the street homeless let's help them not when they die we raise thousands 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 of dollars that money is not even going to church them anymore maybe it's their own enemy going to enjoy that money or you're going to use it to bury him you know or to bury that person so that's all i'm going to say i hope this message meets the right people it's not everybody have the god to say it to me i have a platform i'm going to say it and it's the truth it is the truth you know if if only we can be together as community we don't take people problems and put it on our head the thing the, the most thing i hate right now in my community the moment you have problem with it with, the, with that person this other person gonna come stand up the problem don't even concern them nothing just because it's their friend or whatever they're gonna stand up they're gonna come fight you you don't even know where the problem started you don't even know what's going on so if you cannot make peace between those two people stay away so this is the thing that make our community right now it's so divided it's so separated you know you can't even tell if we have Sierra Leone people in this atlanta i'm telling you everybody in their little corner the way Sierra Leone community used to be sweet eh? when i just came to alana it used to be so sweet but now just because of that, everybody want to but a case. Anybody want to take other people's problem and turn it to their own. Something that don't concern you. You come, you, you snatch it, you put it on your head. Now the problem going to extend, extend, extend. That's why it's so many enmity all over the place. And it's like that. And our generation, we are going. Our kids are coming up. These kids going to grow up in this country. They're not even going to know each other. They're not, it's so many Sierra Leone kids, we that Sierra Leoneans have them here, they don't even know each other, most of them, maybe few. They don't even know each other just because of we the adults choose to do that. And trust me, it's very bad. Because my son can be a footballer tomorrow, basketball player, whatever, whatever. You're going to want my son to come marry your daughter. But boy, if you already make enmity with me, then how that going to happen? Same goes to everybody. You know, we want our kids to marry in the community or the kids to know each other. You know, maybe later in the future, this one can be a lawyer, this one can be a judge, this one can be this, this one can be that. They can go to each other and help each other as a community too. They can build their own community. But we, the adults, we're not allowing that to happen. <laughs> hey, when oh, you get said, my sister is on fire tonight. We all are not finished. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying, Onike. You, you in the Nigerian community, maybe you guys are different because we have Nigerian communities here in, in Atlanta. I know they have their differences, but most of the time when they have party, I see most of them come together, throw money, have fun, whatever. I don't know the inside of it, but from what I see from the outside, you know so that's why i speak on my own community that's what's going on and it's a problem and our kids gonna suffer for this later on people don't realize that people don't realize that these kids these kids if they know each other they maybe they can even go and build our country in sierra leone if they know each other they can stand up and say oh this is the country our mom came from our dads our uncles let's go there and do something but if we don't show them where we came from, we don't show them our community, they don't care. Mm -mm. They don't care. They're not, they're not, they ain't going there. They're going to stay right here. So let's check this soup one more time. It's almost drying up. This soup is almost ready. We still have few water in there, but it's almost ready. Now I'm going to taste the salt for me. Hmm? Taste the melon if you're not salty. Yeah, so we're gonna push the palm oil in the middle because when you push the palm oil in the middle, it's gonna tell you if the soup still have water. Yes, because you're gonna see the bubbly through the palm oil. That's why you always wanna separate it like that. Taste the salt bar. Taste a little bit. How you see it? It's perfect. Mm 
it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's not salty. Mm -hmm. it's, it's seasoned really well. Mm -hmm. It's just like the salt is like. Yeah. I can taste it, but it's okay. It's gonna go down a little bit. Maybe I over season it. So guys, I'm gonna leave you guys to go to bed. It's 12 o'clock. So who much giving? So who much is giving? Much will be required. Look, look 12.48. If you have heard that line of wisdom, you know it means we we are held responsible for what we we have. If we have been blessed with talent, wealth, knowledge, time, and and they like it's expected that we benefit others. Definitely, I agree with you, Miss Caroline. I agree with you, Miss Oike said. And some jute leaves to naturalize the salt. Says, add some jute leaves. I don't have any more jute leaves, so. It's okay like that. It's gonna cook down. It's not that. It's, it's, it's. To me, it's perfect. It's not that salty. I maybe I put too much all-purpose seasoning. I don't know. Or maybe when I put the all-purpose seasoning, I should have never put the other one. But when it, when they cook the rice, I will tell them not to put salt on the rice. So when you eat it with the rice, it's gonna blend together. Okay. But this is perfectly done that's it so i'll see you guys tomorrow everybody go to bed and don't forget to pray before you go to bed pray for your kids pray for your family pray for yourself don't forget well pray for yourself first because if you don't pray for yourself you cannot pray for anybody else <laughs> so pray for yourself first pray for your family pray for your kids pray for everybody around you Prayers is the key to everything in this world. Anything you do in this world, put prayers first. It don't matter how you pray. You can pray Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Hindu, whatever way. Any religion that you believe in in your life, any anything you believe, just pray. God is one. God is one. Only one God, no duplicate. There is no other God out there but this one up here. That's it. You know, so it's up to you. Whether you believe there is a God or not, just pray, my dear. Just pray. Prayers, prayers help. Prayers take care of a lot of things in life, you know. Don't see me like this, so me, I love to pray. I will pray. Sometimes I don't even need to bend down and pray. I will just pray to myself. I will be driving and praying. I will be laying on my bed and praying. Prayer is your mouth. What, what's come out of your mouth, what you're telling God, what you ask Him. And don't forget to say thank you, thank you. Because you don't just come to me every day asking, 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 asking. At the end of the day, you don't say thank you. I'm going to stop giving you. You know, you guys know what I mean. So the same thing with God. You don't just ask, 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 ask. Sometimes just say thank you. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the food. Thank you for everything. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for making me go in and out. You know, just thank you sometimes. Don't ask. You know, too much of one thing is good for nothing. So you keep asking, asking, asking. You don't say thank you. They're going to stop giving you. So sometimes just kneel down and say thank you for everything you've done in my life. Thank you for making me see tomorrow. Thank you for making me see tonight. Thank you. Thank him for everything, my dear. You know, so prayers changes a lot of things in life. And, um... I'm a very strong believer. Some people will see me, they think I don't pray. They probably, oh, she believes in God, but she don't pray. No, no, no. I pray. I pray a lot. Because you cannot have four kids in your life. You raise them till this age, you don't pray. You know? You cannot survive in life, you don't pray. <laughs> you have to pray. God has to see you through. You know? So please, you guys pray. And pray for me too. You all pray for me though. Me, I need a lot of prayers. Because the enmity, some enmity that I have, sometimes I'll look at these people, I'm thinking like, what did I do to you? You don't know me, I don't know you. You don't know which village I came from. You just hate me for nothing. Some people just hate you for no reason. They don't like you just because, 
just because the way God builds you. You, you don't even ask God to build you like this. It's, it's God, but they will hate you. They don't know they're hating God too, because it's God that made you. It's God that bless you. It's God that do what he, he did for you. But some of our fellow humans that don't have a belief in God or that God made evil in this life, they will just look at you. They don't like you for no reason. Or even if they have reason, the reason don't make no sense. You know? So those are the kind of people we need to pray against. Because some of those people, you don't even know them. Some of them, they are very close to you. Some of them, they are under your feet. They hate your life. They hate what, what you get going on. They hate what they see. They are right under your feet. Some of them, they eat from you. You help them. They will smile in your face. You think they are good people, but deep inside they are not good. Those are the people you have to pray for every night for God to take them away from you. Some friends, you see, they're just going to stop calling you. Some friends, something little will happen. They will just stop talking to you. Don't cry for them because you don't know what God is taking out of your head. You know what I mean? You don't know what God is taking out of. Maybe God don't want them around you. So don't cry for those people. If God show you the sign, you have to believe it that this person is not a real person for me. Let me stay away. If you continue just because you need friends, you know, because some people, oh, I'm lonely. Oh, I don't have friends. Every woman, especially we women, you want, you want two, three friends, two, three ladies you can hang out with, go dinner. But you want that. Me, I want that life because when I was in Africa, I'm used to that life. I have a couple of friends. They're here in America, but they live in different states. But sometimes we don't talk for two, three months. But when I pick up the phone, it's like we never talk. Like, like we don't even, I don't even know how to say it. You know, those are the real people in your life. But people that want you, why you didn't call me? Why you didn't give me this? Why you didn't wish me happy birthday? Why you didn't post me? Why you didn't do that? Why? No, 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 no. Run away. Run away from those people. They want something from you. Or they are not genuine. They're only with you. Because what they can get from you, the moment you don't give it to them, they are gone. You know, I'm telling you out of experience, they are out there. There, there is a lot of them, you know. So we have to pray against those kind of people. The moment they come to your life, let, so God can push them far away from you. Something little can happen, God will just wipe them away from you. Don't, don't wonder, don't cry for them. Don't say, oh, why I can't keep friends? Why friends don't stay with me? What's going on? You are not a problem. You are not the problem. They are the problem. They cannot stand being your friend because they don't like to see what's going on in your life. They cannot stand being your friend because you drive in a nice car, because you live in a nice house, because, because whatever, because whatever reason they have in their head. You know, whatever reason they have in their head. And you innocent you going to sit there, worry like, what am I doing wrong? Why I can't keep a friend? Why that? You are not the problem. They are the problem. So you have to know that. You know, you have to know your surroundings. You have to know. Me, I'm very, very, very sensitive. Everybody around me know me. That I'm too sensitive. The least mistake you make, I'm going to question you. Why you make that mistake? And sometimes, the moment you start questioning them, they disappear. They run away. If they are too friends, any concern you have, they will make it clear to you that this is it, this is it. Then you guys become best of friends, sisters, or whatever. But the moment you start questioning them, they, will, they, they maybe they become panic that, oh, maybe this lady know what I'm up to. So they're going to disappear. They're going to go. You know, so that's how life is. So please, let's keep the good ones around us. If we don't have them, let's take care of our kids. Your kids can be your best friends. Um, what is the website to buy here from your sister-in-law? I uh, here by Jaria too. I think so. Here by Jaria too. Um, J A R I J A R I A T U. Here by Jariatu dot com. But um, I'm gonna do a live with her maybe next week to let you guys know the information. I think the website gonna be ready by this month, the twenty eighth, something like that. But when she come next week, um, I think me and her going to do a live together. And we, we're going to give you guys all the information about it. 
I love and appreciate all of you guys. Thank you guys for listening this night. I know most of you guys are tired. You're laying on that bed holding this phone, going like this. Yep, yep, yep. That's true, Chef Ruby. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> You learn on your bed, but let me let you guys go. Your sleep, some of you have to go to work tomorrow, and we're gonna enjoy this cream cream for you guys. Mm, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to make I'm gonna be busy tomorrow, but if um if it's if it's okay to do a live wherever I'm going, I'll go I'll, I'll go live and let you guys know. Oh, stay on. I cannot stay on, Robert. I have to go to bed. <laughs> have a good night. Thank you, Latasha. Still here. <laughs> it's 5.14 in, in the... Huh? Where is that? Oh, my God. Sorry for to wake you up. Your good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.